Let us see how to create a simple superstore report in Power BI Desktop. Till now, whatever options we have seen, how to create charts, slicers, adding text, everything we'll be using in this particular video here. So this would be a very simple report. It will look like a dashboard, but we'll try to create this report here. And why we are doing this? Because now we have completed the basics of creating charts and visuals. Now we'll see how to work on reports part. This report will publish on Power BI service. So we need some data, a good data, a good visuals to publish on the Power BI service. So that's the reason I've kept it of creating a simple superstore report here. I have already created a report and this is how it looks like. You can see there are different charts, different tables there. So it's a very simple, let me explain you here first and then we can do it practically. There are some donut charts and pie chart if you see in this right hand side. There's one donut chart where it shows profit by category. Then we have profit by segment and profit by region. Okay, so these are three different charts over here. Also, we have one bar chart, which is profit by subcategory. I have a line chart, which shows me profit by year and quarter. This is a simple table, which will illustrate me about the subcategory sales and some regions are there. On the left hand side, I have a slicer where I can filter whichever state I want. And based on that, all the visuals would be filtered out. And these are some cards for quantity, profit and you know, sales, three cards are there. And I've just added a simple title here. Okay, so all these things we'll be using for creating. Exactly same, I'll try to create that. On the left hand side, you can see these are all the states. If I select Florida, you can see all the visuals would get filtered for Florida. I can just deselect that by clicking on clear button here. On the right hand side, if I click on any chart over here, let's say if I click on this option here, the entire visual would get filtered here. So like this, if I click on copy us, you can see all the visuals would get filtered here. So let us see how to create this, you know, report in Power BI. Now this looks like a dashboard, but this is not a dashboard in Power BI. Dashboards are something different, which we'll see in the coming section here. Now, how do I create it? Okay, basic charts are there. Carefully observe everywhere the font color is white. Everywhere font color is white. The background is given as black. Okay, background black, font color white. Let us start how to create it. So right now, I do not have any fields on the right hand side. I will quickly pick up one Excel file named as sample superstore. That is 10.0 sample superstore. And what I'll do is I'll try to format the background first, like the black background. And later on, I'll create some charts. So I'll pick up order sheet and click on load button. The reason I'm clicking on load button because it's a clean data. Right now, no cleaning is required for this particular data set. So when the data is clean, creating charts is very simple. You don't have to struggle. So the data is loaded on the right hand side. I'll create a new page here. So let us see how to change the background of this page. I can just go to visualization and click on this page background and I'll make the background as black color here. Okay. So transparency, I'll make it as zero. So this is a black color background here. Okay. Simple plain black. Let me add a heading here. So I can go to insert tab and click on this text box and here I can write some text here that this is superstore dashboard or report and I should increase the text size 32 font let's say white bold for time being I'll keep the font as black and this would be the text write as sample superstore report and middle alignment. So this is a simple report and let me increase the size 36. So I can just make the background as black color. So let me first make the font as white. Go back to this visualization. In the format option, I can make the select that box. Make sure you select the box. So I have to change the background here. So I have to go to background and make it as off. So when you make the off as background, this will be transparent black. Okay. Now let us see how to create the pie chart. But before I create pie chart, I should give borders to this box here. So I can select borders and make it as round. Now, so the border color is black. Let me make it as white color. So that's a border color here. Now I'll try to create those pie charts and donut chart. So I'll click outside, click on this donut chart and I'll add here, try to resize, drag it and drop it here. And here I can just bring the category and profit. So category and profit is a simple donut chart. Now I will remove this legend option, which is given on the right hand side and try to put here the legends, the technology office supplies. So I'll go to this box, uh, format here as detail labels as all detail labels. Next one, the background, I'll make it as off. This one as off background. The font color is not visible. So I should make it as white color. So in detail labels, I can just go to this color option and select as white color. This legend is not required. So let me remove that legend. I'll click on this off button here. 
legend is gone away. The size of this text should be increased. So I can just scroll down, increase the size. And now I can resize this donut chart like this. So that's a simple donut chart. I should give a title here because we cannot understand what exactly it is. So I can just write here as category sales or, or category profit because here I have the profit option. So I'll go to this format option here and try to search title and write here as profit by category. It is already there, but the font color is black. So I'll make it as white and some cosmetic change like middle alignment, increase the font size. So this is one donor chart for profit by category. Now I can simply right click, copy that visual and I can click here and home menu bar, I can just click on paste. So this will create one more visual. So I've just copy pasted that thing and I have to resize that like this, select that, resize this. So this is profit by category. Let me delete that and I'll put here as segment. So this is profit by segment. Again, I'll paste one more and try to resize that. Let me remove that and instead of that, I can just duplicate this chart here. So this is profit by segment. I should make this as region. So I'll select the option region from here. Deselect segment or drag and drop region, remove segment. So this is profit by region here. Let me resize this text box. Now the only thing is I have to apply some borders so I can differentiate. So borders would be available here, borders option. And I think I should round off the borders. So it gives a good feel. That's a new feature for rounding up the borders. The border color I have rounded, but it is black color. So I can just go back, select the border color as white, click outside. You see, there's a border color here. Now, if I want to apply the same formatting everywhere, select that particular visual and go to this format painter and paste it. Format painter and you can just paste it. So you can also paste the formatting on all the visuals here at one go. So this has created, you can look after the alignment part, cosmetic part here. So you see right hand side, three visuals are created. We'll see about the colors, but let's see how to create this line chart and this bar chart. So I'll click outside, click on the simple stacked bar chart and try to put here. So here I can just bring a subcategory into axis, profit into values. This is created. I'll remove the background. I can go to format and remove that background somewhere make it as off the font color or the data labels i'll make it as on the color for data labels and the x axis should be white color and this values which are given should be in white color font color so data labels i can select the option as white you see the white color would be there in x axis i can go and select the option as white color here x axis so this was y axis i made a mistake so i have to again go to y axis option and make this as white color this both are white color now. I should give a title so it is properly readable that these are profit by subcategory. So to do that, I have to go to this title option and try to write profit by subcategory. It is already written, but the color font color is black. So I'll make it as white color. And I think I should increase the size of this text here. Let me increase the text size profit by subcategory. Right. That's very simple. Now the other part, I should apply a border. So Instead of applying from scratch, let me pick up this visual, click on format painter and then click on this visual here. So the borders would be automatically applied here. Okay. But what happened? The labels have gone away. So select that again. I can go to format and on this data labels. Now about the line chart, if I want to create a line chart, I can just go back and click on this line chart here. And here I will just drag and drop. So it is properly resizable here. Now here I can just bring order date into this box and also I'll try to bring here profit, order date and profit. It's only by year. Uh, let me make it by quarters. So I can just click on this fourth button to expand. Now what I can do is I can just copy the formatting from this chart, select that chart, format painter and I can just click on this part here. So you see the formatting is copied, the X axis, Y axis and the heading properly organized here. Now the other part is I have to, let me open that visual. This is the part here. Now I have to bring here a slicer on the left hand side. This is for states. You see these are different states. So I'll click outside, click on this slicer option and try to resize it properly. And I'll put here state, drag and drop state into this slicer. Again, formatting is required. So let me select that chart, format painter and paste it over here. Okay. So you can see it's pasted here. So before that, I think I should show you something, control Z. After that, I can show you that the checkboxes I have to select as, I mean, I can only select one state at a time. If you want to select multiple states, I can go to format, go to this selection control and off this multi-select with control and 
the other part is now i can just go back and make the background off the size should be increased so i can go to items increase the size and i think the font color should be white so it's not visible so i can click on font color and make it as white okay that's a font color here so these are all the states i can select one by one and all the visuals will get filtered there's a clear button on the top which you have to click on this clear it will get clear i know it's not visible some changes you have to apply there from the format you'll get some option now the remaining part is if i go back to the report i have to create a simple table where it shows about the you know subcategory region and sales subcategory region and sales so let me open that report i know the space is very less so let me expand it when i hide the other fields you can see the size increases of this window let me try to increase the page size i can go to visualization and click outside on the blank space make sure you click outside click on this format and you can go to page size here in page size you can select the option custom there are different options and let me increase the width here as let's say 2500 you see the size has increased and on the right hand side i can use this space okay same way if you want to increase the height also height i think it's perfect you don't have to increase much but let me try to resize those visuals this is again a cosmetic part time doesn't go in creating charts but this takes a lot of time now i can just move it on the right hand side here make sure the first should be the bottom chart and this is the top chart here now i have some space to create a table to create a table i'll click outside go to this visualization click on this table option here and i'll open the fields and i'll bring here subcategory select this subcategory checkbox select this region checkbox and sales so actually it was not a table it was a matrix so my mistake i have clicked on this table actually i should have selected a second option matrix so i'll click on this matrix option and this is a simple matrix now the background formatting font you can change everything i can go to this format option and you see there's a style option ready-made styles are available i can select the option as minimal or i can select flashy rows sparse yeah, this is what it was there in the previous place. Let me again resize that properly. Now, I'll just minimize here. So you see, I have some space for the cards. So this is the report I have. In this report, if you see, I have this cards. How to create some cards we have seen in the previous sections. So this card can be for sales, profit and quantity. Let me go back to the report. And to create a card, I'll just click outside. Click on this visualization. Click on this one, two, three, which is a card. I know the size has increased for the card. Let me reduce the size. Make sure it fits properly into this area. And I'll just drag sales into this box. Sales into this field and do some changes, cosmetic changes. So one best practice I tell you that first format the one card, then you just duplicate the cards. Okay. So I'll just click on format and you know change the background. Background I'll make it as off. The title or the data label should be as white color. So you see the white color will come there and I think the size should be increased text size after that somewhere if you see there's a category option the category also I'll make it as white color so this is the category when I say category that's a name of the category okay now I think size also should be increased or let me decrease first the size here now I'll just go back and also apply the borders so that's a border I'll make it as on and here I can just decrease the radius the radius should be white color or the border should be white color so i'll go to format in this borders i can select the option as white color so now i can just copy i can click on copy and i can click on paste so that's a second again paste that's the third one so they both all three are sales i should select this second card and remove the sales and drag and drop profit select the third one remove that sales and drag and drop quantity so that's a quantity and i can just try to expand the size here and you see this is a simple report which is created now this report is ready and we can publish this report online okay let me remove this so this report will be publishing online and if you observe it was not that difficult we have seen how to create this chart a report separately in different videos but this is the time where i'm combining everything and creating a simple report and you can create any visuals i have taken very very basic visuals just charts donut chart pie chart but you can keep on adding advanced visuals also Okay, and then we can publish it. So that's it for time being. I hope you have understood how to create a simple superstore report so that we can publish on online and see the other videos. Okay, that's all for this video.